In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to execute a rebase and auto squash so that all the fix up commits I made in the last video will get kind of sucked up into the original commits and then I'll have a super clean history. Um, and this is the final step you need to do when you're making a merge request once you've completed all the, uh, the feedback you needed to make from the review. So I'll head over into Git Crack and here to just show you what's going on. Um, I'm on this downlink schedule branch and I've made several fix up commits uh, as a result of comments from the review. The next thing I need to do uh, is rebase this branch onto master. Um, so it's actually already on top of master, but what I need to do, it, it may not be in your case, what I need to do is, is do the rebase with the auto squash so that all my fix up commits will get sucked into the original commits. Um, since I'm up to date with master, I'm probably, I shouldn't get any, uh, merge conflicts or rebase conflicts, I guess. Uh, but this shows you what you need to do, uh, to get yourself up to date. And then once I do the rebase and all the fix up commits are squashed, I can then force push this branch after testing it, uh, through Houston and also checking that it still compiles. Um, and then I can, uh, actually go ahead and complete that merge request. Uh, so let's do the rebase. I can't actually do this in Git Kraken as far as I know anyway, so I'll show it on the command line. Um, I'm in my repo right here. Um, now I need to do git rebase origin uh, and then interactive and then dash dash auto squash. And when I do that, uh, Git's going to bring up this interface here uh, that's going to allow me to do various things. So this is the, the rebase interface, I guess. Um, what it's showing is all the commits and it's showing fix up. All it's going to do is go ahead and do the fix ups. Um, but I could, if I needed to, uh, change the text here to do uh, a reword or I could do some more squashing of commits and stuff like that. Um, so now all I need to do to keep moving is uh, write this file. And there we go, uh, the rebase is finished. So this was a really simple one since I was already actually up to date with master. I just really needed to accomplish the auto squash. And if we look back at what my branch looks like, all of the fix up commits have been squashed into the original commits and I've got a really nice clean history here. And it's uh, of course still rebased so it's sitting on top of an updated master. Now all I need to do uh, to close up this merge request is, well, number one, I should retest and uh, recompile. Um, I'm not going to show that in the video. I'll just show uh, the steps uh, that you need to do once you've done that. Uh, so assuming I've got all my tests passing and everything still compiles and everything's still good, um, I'm just going to uh, push. And if you're on the command line, this would be uh, a git push and you'd want you want to force push here. The reason for that is during the rebase, um, all the commit hashes have actually changed because uh, they've gotten stuff added to them with the fix ups. So from Git's perspective, this isn't the same as what is sitting up on GitLab right now. So I want to overwrite all the stuff I've got on GitLab with my new rebased and auto squashed uh, commits that are right here. So I need to do a force push. And this is safe and this is fine, uh, but it's only fine if you've actually tested that your uh, rebased branch is working. So I'll go ahead and do my force push and uh, we'll see that that got up updated on GitLab. And what I need to do now is I'll just uh, head over to GitLab and show you the last step, but I'm not gonna actually do it because I still need to uh, test this stuff um, I'm going to go open up my merge request. What I will see is if I resolve the whip status, uh, I get a green button here. This is because my branch is sitting on top of master. It's ready to get merged. There isn't anything that needs to, to happen since I've done the rebase. So once I've tested, I can just hit merge, uh, click delete source branch, and then I'm good to go. Uh, this, uh, this merge request will be closed.